camera messed up there. <clears throat> so, I've tried filming this twice. Once, yeah, I tried filming this twice. And both times the video failed to be up to my satisfaction, so hopefully this one's good. I'll cut to the chase. Over the past few days, ever since an article on Yahoo was released about the uh, Wii U and how it's failed to meet sales expectations, lots of YouTubers have taken to, um, well, YouTube, and have been posting videos on their thoughts of the whole, um, well, the disappointing sales figures for Nintendo. And if you don't know, I'll let you know right now. So, Nintendo projected that the Wii U would sell over 9 million, or was it 9 billion? It was either 9 million or 9 billion units. And it has only sold over 2 million, or... Yeah, it's only sold around 2 million since its, uh, since its release. I, I'm, I think... I would have to double... The point is, it's not very good. The sales figures are not very good, and they've had to drop their sales, their their projection down to uh, 5 million, I think. Yeah, I, I think it was 5 million. Point. Do not listen to me here. Go look it up. It'll tell you the exact numbers. The point is, sales are not too good, and it's dropped down from less than a third of what they were hoping for. Well, ever since those figures were released... Lots of uh, prominent YouTubers and not-so-prominent YouTubers, like I said, have gone on to make videos on their of their thoughts. And almost every single one has been titled The Death of Nintendo, or Nintendo Done Fucked Up, or something along those lines. I won't name names of some of these YouTubers, obviously, for the since it's better if you look these up yourself and form your own opinions on these matters, even though... But, uh... Just disregard the even though. But I do have to say that I'm really quite amazed at how over the past year, almost every journalist and almost every YouTube personality has taken it upon themselves attacked as though they're some kind of industry analyst and that they know for a fact what Nintendo, what state Nintendo is in despite having a slow year with their next-gen console. I got news for you guys. You're acting like the Wii U's sl slipshod sales are something to be worried about, that this is going to spell doom for Nintendo and that they're bleeding money at this point. Even though, in almost every single article I've read talking about how bad a console the Wii U is for Nintendo, none of you fail. None of you seem to address the fact that the Nintendo 3DS has been selling extremely well. Like I mean, it has been doing really well in terms of sales. Sales and Nintendo has made so has made so much money during the year dur with the Wii that. They can afford losses like this. These losses aren't really so much the tidal wave you think they are. They're more like a little blip in the giant sea of money that Nintendo has from the Wii and from the 3DS. I just find it odd that when Nintendo is having a bad year, every single person and their grandmother j jumps on this jumps on this train made of lemmings and just has to point and laugh at poor Nintendo because it's having a bad year. Even though... Even though the PS3 did much, much worse during its first year and didn't find its audience for over three years, and yet you still had developer after developer after developer, especially Ubisoft, developing first pro developing exclusive titles for the system. But with the Wii U, since it's been having a slow year, you have developers who are refuse to make anything for the console exclusively, or they're doing it by a game by game basis. And you have YouTubers who are acting like the Wii U is the worst mistake ever made gaming wise. Because uh, I got news for you guys. The closest thing that Nintendo has ever had to a failure is the Virtual Boy or the GameCube. 
the difference between them, the GameCube is a cult is a cult classic gaming system, and it has a lot of really good games on it. And the Wii U again has been. Let me put. Let me let me give you my opinion. The Wii U is having a slow start, but it's going to start picking up soon. You've had great games come out over the past year. You've had games like ba You've had games like. Uh, not Bayonetta 2, that's next year. You've had games like The Wonderful 101, and you've had games like Pikmin 3. The the Wii... Oh, and Wind Waker HD. The the Wii U's gonna do just fine, especially with new games coming out, coming out next year. I just can't stand the fact that there are so many idiots who are jumping onto this bandwagon of hate for Nintendo. And I think the main reason why so many YouTubers are doing it is because... As you all know, earlier in the year, Nintendo was basically putting their ads on on YouTubers' videos, essentially taking money from their from their videos that had Nintendo footage, which upset a lot of people and made them immediately declare their undying hate for Nintendo. Some of them even throwing childish tantrums where they threw their Wii U's into garbage cans. Oh, <laughs> DSP gaming. Oh, <laughs> but um. It just strikes me as incredibly juvenile to just immediately dismiss Nintendo as one of the big three of gaming consoles just because their current console is doing poorly. I don't have a Wii U, I'm planning on getting one, but from what I've seen of some of the games for it, I have to confess, Nintendo seems to be the only one that's innovating with gaming. Whereas the PS4 and the Xbox One seem to be moving in the same direction as the last generation of consoles, moving towards a more cinematic experience involving movie-quality movie, movie quality voice acting and stylish graphics, Nintendo still seems to be following the tried, the tried tradition of making great games, finding new and innovative ways to expand gameplay, which is why the Wii U is my next-gen console of choice. Because I'm not a Nintendo fanboy. I, I, I've only had... The only Nintendo consoles I've had were the handhelds. The Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, and recently the 3DS, which I have been enjoying the shit out of Fire Emblem lately. But I guess the point of this video and the reason why I made it is to say to all of the people on YouTube who are getting their panties in a bunch and are just jumping on this bandwagon that many gaming journalist sites and magazines, for that matter, have been perpetuating, stating that the that the Nintendo needs to get with the times and start making more mature games. By, and by mature, I mean games like Call of Duty and God of War, since most of these idiots are so insecure in their age and they're are so insecure when it comes to their maturity that they that they think that gray brown military shooters are the defining characteristic of mature. I just have to say most of you you're not industry analysts. You don't you you only look at what you only look at one page articles on Wikipedia and you only read one article that's posted on Yahoo. It doesn't really back up your case that well when all you're doing is taking information from those and some poorly done research. And to all the gaming journalists who are saying the Wii U what is dead on arrival and that it's just a just a it's basically causing Nintendo to bleed out. You're speaking way too soon and your hypocrisy is evident in the fact that you're more than willing to attack Nintendo when it's doing poorly. But when the PS3 was doing poorly, you were mysteriously quiet. And when the Xbox One was a steaming pile of goat crap when it was first announced, you were being incredibly neutral at the time. It doesn't make me take you seriously at all. It doesn't make you a relevant or a credible source of information. It makes me think to myself, how can anyone read your articles or take you seriously when you have this unbiased hatred towards Nintendo for whatever reason, I have no idea. End of my rant. I am the Red Vulture, and I am having trouble turning this camera off. <laughs>